I be stuck in my feelings and going through stages I write with my heart, I'm going through pages Cause I'm going through pain, I'm going through phases I'm going through change, my feelings is fading what up, what up? It's Tommy You Know Sell. This is You Know Sell. Make sure you like, subscribe, uh, share the YouTube page. We back yet again with another uh, up and coming artist from the city of Detroit. Hi, young dude. Chapo Corleone. What it do? What it do? What's going on? Man, chilling. I appreciate you um, stopping through on the platform. Oh, yeah, you know. Um, we. For a lot of people, this might be their first time, you know, seeing you um, as you being a, a quote-unquote newer artist from the city. So, first off, give them the social media and let them know where they can find you at. Uh, all my social media is Chapo Corleone, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter is Chapo Corleone X, and uh, all my music is on all digital platforms, so y'all go tap in with that. Bet, bet. So let's get straight into it, man. You just dropped the project, Cursed Dreams. Um, first things first, let's get into the title. Why Cursed Dreams? What does that mean to you? Uh, I named it Cursed Dreams because, like, just, like, going everything I went through was, like, all the dreams I got, it's really hard to get it. It's stuff that interfered with it, distractions and all that. And it's really like a curse. Like, it could be a gift and it can be a curse. But when you're trying to grind to get it and get up there to it, it's a curse. But when you get it, it's a gift. For sure, for sure. Now, uh, let's jump right into song number one. It's the intro, Cold Nights. Um, when you first hear it, it got that grit, that grind, that pain. We come from the city of Detroit. Um, so talk about your background growing up. Um, you know, some of the things that you've been through in order to get you to this point and, and made it so that you made this album and put it into your songs. Uh, well, I came from... The uh, west side of Detroit, Seven Mile. Uh, I was raised over there. I've been there my whole life. And just seeing a lot of stuff, learning from a lot of OGs and all that, really just just taught me a lot. Just taught me the game at an early age, and that really just developed me to who I am now. That's what's up. That's what's up. Let's talk about um, Break the Chains. Mm -hmm. um, the thing that stuck out to me was off top, you stamped top five artists in the city. Which is a bold statement, you know what I mean? And a statement that you should make at the end of the day. But I want to talk about your your process, your plan, and how how do you get that from your mouth to the world? Like how do you how do you get to that point? Really just gotta prove it. Mm -hmm. Like really I'm um, not really known yet as much as I wanna be, but coming from out of the ground, underground, I just gotta prove it to everybody. But still be humble at the same time. Right, right, right. Um, what, what, what gave you, you know, I me, mean, just the motivation for that? Um, you talk about growing up on the west side of Detroit, seeing a lot of things. Um, can can you get into something specific? You know, as far as something that you may have went through that that kind of shifted you to shifted you this way, and even into doing music. Uh, I just seen a lot. Just a lot of people struggle. And just as a kid, I just said I just never really wanted to be that. And yeah. I really just used that as an example and motivation really to push me. All right. That's what's up. Let's talk about um, Call From The Streets. Mm -hmm. uh, it's one of those tug-of-war tracks. That's what it sounds It sounds like it's like a tug-of-war type thing. And um, when you, a lot of people get, get the stipulation that, you know, Detroit, they, they look at it as a city where there's a lot of bad things going on. You know what I mean? Um, one thing that we are majorly known for is hustling. Right. Uh, so, let's take it back. Like, what, what was your first job? My first job was at Honey Bakes here in Southfield. That's and uh, I probably worked there for about a month or two. Mm -hmm. So, let, let's talk about hustling. Um, of course, we from Detroit. We hustle to get money. What, what's some of the things you like to do as far as, you know, when you get your money, what you spending your money on? You know what I mean? What uh, What are some of the fun things you like to do? I mean, I like to go shopping, of course. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, I've been learning to stack my money recently, trying to get better, really trying to be a businessman, professional, I I for the future, really. I feel that. I feel that. We definitely um in that time and space where uh, it's important to save, and I see a lot of artists now speaking out about that. Um, so I want to talk about love letter. The music industry is, you know, it's it can be a, a shrewd business. At the end of the day, it's a it's one of those things where it's love and hate. They they love you, they hate you, they love you again. Mm -hmm. So for you being an artist, um, what what is like one thing you love most about this music game? Uh, 
Um, and then on the other end, tell me what's one thing you might not like so much. Uh, one thing for sure, I love. I just love how it make you feel. Really. Like mm -hmm. music really control control your life. It control your feeling. It control a lot, really. And the one thing I hate, I just hate. Really, I wouldn't say I hate nothing. I just dislike some of the stuff that goes on. Really, the the say the politics of it all. Yeah, the <laughs> stuff, the politics is just I don't really get into all that. So. How do you deal with that when you when you come across that? I really just ignore it. Mm -hmm. I don't really speak my opinion on it. Not really. I just stay in my own lane. Really. I hear that. I hear that. Money problems. That, that's one of them things that's been around for the longest. Biggie, more money, more problems. You know what I mean? So let's talk about that. What's one of the um, what's one of the major issues that you that you've come across since doing your music? You know what I mean? Something that might have created a roadblock for you that you really had to climb and get over it, that you might can tell to some another young artist who out here doing it that can help them uh, it's like the more i grew the more people i lost mm -hmm. that's friends really it's like they support you in the beginning but it's like soon as you surpass them is when it's like it's kind of like funny acting shade yeah. throwing type of really to new artists, I would suggest you, if you got a clique or a group, you feel me, make sure they day ones, make sure they lay loyal, my fault. And just stay with it, stick with it. And if it get hard, you just gotta thug it out, really. And just get it out the mud yourself. Um, and that seg segue me into uh, the last track, Till We Rich. I put one word by the track and I put loyalty. Um, tell me how much that means to you and kind of what are some of the qualities that you look for um, as far as maybe not making new friends, but in your in, in the friends that you do have, what are those qualities that made them your friends? And also, uh, for the ladies out there, you know what I mean? Drop some qualities for the ladies too. Uh, well, loyalty is big for me. Uh, you can really win me over with loyalty. Loyalty is important. Uh, you really can't build nothing without loyalty. Mm -hmm. Loyalty is like, format of everything. It's the format of life, it's the format of music, it's the format of relationships, money. Loyalty really connects everything. Yeah. And for the women, loyalty you just gotta you gotta hold me down. You gotta stay real. You gotta you gotta get it out the mud with me. You can't be just let me do all the work. You gotta do it too. You gotta grind with me. I hear that, I hear that. Um let's let's get into T-shirt you rocking, man. I heard you got you. I see. I see you rocking a fly oh, yeah, tee. Yeah. That, uh, that's one of your. One just dropped. One of the hustles. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I hear that. I'm trying to be a businessman, man. Just trying to make a clothing line business with the music. Just do both. But I just dropped the clothing line yesterday, and y'all can tap in. My Instagram is Wealthy Wave. Y'all can make y'all orders on there, and you can also tap in on Chapo Corleone. I can. You can also. Orders on there too. I take y'all back. Make sure y'all get those. I hear that. Um, before we get out of here, I want to give you the floor. I want to give you a chance to speak to people who might just be viewing this for the first time. Uh, people who have been supporting you from day one. What do you got to say to those people? Uh, I just want to thank y'all. I couldn't have did it without y'all. I appreciate all the support, and y'all really made me who I am today. And I appreciate it. I appreciate everybody who stayed down from when I was freestyling at the school, in the lunchroom, and to now. I appreciate all y'all. I thank you for all the love and support. Appreciate it. And uh, I don't want to put you on the spot, but is there anybody in particular? You might want to do some little shout outs or something? Uh, I want to do a shout out to AK. Shout out to my manager, my engineers, my team. Shout out to my mom, of course, my dad. Uh, shout out to everybody. I heard that. Right, I had something to do with this project, and that's been there since day one. I don't want to forget nobody. I appreciate all y'all. Um, tell them one more time where they can get the music, where they can find you at. Uh, music on Spotify, all digital platforms. Uh, you can find me on Instagram at Chapo Corleone, and for the clothing line, you can find me at Wealthy Wave. Appreciate you once again, man, stopping through. Uh, it's the first one. It definitely won't be the last. I uh, will be staying in tune with you, man. The project is dope. Um, I, I, like I said um, before we got on this, I, somebody asked you to describe the sound. I was waiting on you to describe it, and uh, you hit it right on the head, man. It's definitely a, a smooth a smooth project. So, 
make sure you uh, just keep working hard, man. Keep going at it. And, you know, you know, sell. We're going to be here for you, man. Appreciate you stopping through. Appreciate y'all. You know it. I be stuck in my feelings and going through stages I write with my heart, I'm going through pages Cause I'm going through pain, I'm going through phases I'm going through change, my feelings is fading